you have a couple new subclasses. One of them is for the rogue. We've not seen a new Unearthed Arcana for the rogue for a while now. Can you tell me a little bit about this? This rogue is a rogue who surprises themselves because one day, or perhaps one night, they have a sudden realization, and in game terms this realization happens at third level when they take the subclass, they realize they've been dead before. And this rogue is called the Revived, and they are a character who has to grapple with the fact that they have lived at least one life before, perhaps multiple lives, and for some reason they are alive again and are imbued with certain deathly powers. And so this is a very kind of spooky rogue who uh, gets to, at certain levels, learn how to speak to the dead. At high level, they can leap through the ethereal plane. Uh, they also, very early on, gain the ability, whenever they use their cunning action class feature, to launch out sort of bolts of the grave, necrotic energy, that deals uh, their sneak attack damage. So they actually have a way of dealing their sneak attack damage other than the traditional ways of dealing sneak attack damage, although they, of course, can still use those ways. Uh, so there are a number of neat sort of spooky things going on here. This rogue is also hard to kill. Uh, they have advantage on their death saving throws. And if they do uh, get close to death and then are brought back, so if they have zero hit points and they're, they're brought back to one or more hit points or they're stabilized, they also can actually change their personality traits. So every character in the game has you know, their, their ideal, their bond, their flaw, etc. Well, when this rogue sort of comes to after being knocked down to zero, they might have remembered one of their past lives and their personality can shift slightly as they incorporate uh, one of those past lives into themselves. They also can draw on uh, proficiencies from their past lives and they can change these actually over time. And also one of the neat things is when they speak with the dead, they can also draw capabilities from either that dead spirit or from one of their own past lives. They're not quite sure where these capabilities are coming from. Uh, so it is a, a rogue that not only has these neat deathly abilities, but who also has this personal journey to try to figure out why were they brought back? What is their mission? Uh, are they going to come back a number of other times? So there, there is this neat story built in for the character inside this subclass. It was a concept uh, I had. Uh, it said, I want us to explore this. Uh, ben Petrosor then sort of took the ball and ran with it. He brought back to me the ideas he had for realizing the story concept. And it, it actually came together quite well. I mean, as soon as sort of we had that seed of, you just realize one day you've been, you've died before and yeah. you've come back. Uh, and that those past lives could ripple into the present in various ways. Uh, the subclass actually came together uh, pretty quickly uh, just because it's such a rich story concept and a fun one to explore in the rogue because rogues, you know, when you think of assassins and others, already have a sort of relationship with death. Right. Uh, so, but often it's the rogue who's dealing uh, the death so we thought it would be fun to flip that around and it'd be, well, this rogue has had death dealt to them and they're back, but they're not undead. I mean, they have certain qualities that are reminiscent of the undead. You know, a person might think, well, are these rogues actually revenants? Well, they're not. You know, their story is similar to a revenant in that they have come back, but they've come back alive. Uh, and so rather than being uh, a, a servant of the powers of undeath, they instead are imbued with the powers of death itself. So they are actually more of a natural force rather than the unnatural force uh, that is undeath. 
And this was your idea? Uh, yeah, this was an idea I brought because often what will happen, uh, at least with sort of this recent uh, group of Unearthed Arcana, different people in the team will come with ideas. Uh, I then sort of gather them up and say, all right, here's the basically the parade of subclasses I would like to see, uh, sprinkling in ones uh, that I personally want. Uh, and this was one of the ones that sort of I brought to the team and said, all right, I'd like to see this, this sort of revenant-like rogue uh, added to the mix. We could also explore, and in D&D have explored this concept before in other ways. For instance, in 4th uh, edition, we had uh, a playable race, the Deva, which is sort of uh, related to the Asimar in that they're sort of these celestial beings, but the Deva specifically had access to past lives. The fun thing about exploring this story in a class rather than in a race is you can actually grow. Uh, races tend to be, you know, here's what you get at the yeah. beginning and that's it. Uh, We've introduced, like in Xanathar's Guide to Everything, the racial feats that give you a way uh, to sort of deepen your connection to your species. Uh, but for the most part, growth in D&D is expressed through class. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted us to explore this concept in the Rogue, because then we could go you know, deeper. Uh, culminating again with the, with the ability to leap through the ethereal plane uh, and even leap to a place that you can't see. Normally with our sort of short range teleportation, as opposed to, you know, you're teleporting to the other side of a planet kind of teleportation, uh, you're usually required to see where you're going, but uh, this, this rogue uh, can just leap and see where they end up. There's a risk, they might take force damage if they, if they manifest inside a wall or in, in another creature's space. But we wanted this because this is a kind of ability that a number of ghostly characters in the, I mean, rather monsters have in the game. So we thought this is appropriate for this rogue. And I think the rogue is going to uh, be able to uh, trigger all sorts of trouble uh, with this ability. But they're going to have to be careful because the rogue is going to be tempted to just, you know, oh, I'm going to leap through that wall. Well, the rogue is then might leap into a room filled uh, with foes who they have to face all by themselves. Uh, so it could be dangerous.